Lucy Gossage, very, very cold. At the <laughs> uh, just finished Cambridge Half Marathon. Uh, how did the, uh, the event point go for you today? Uh, yeah, no, it was good fun. It was the first little test. Um, yeah, it wasn't one of those amazing days where you feel light and flying, but a um, little bit quicker than last year, so I'll take it. Yeah, um, yeah it's okay. <laughs> You've got the added benefit, you haven't got very far to go home, have you? No, literally 100 metres to <laughs> stagger back, so um, yeah, no, it's really nice. There's so many people I know doing it, which, um, yeah, makes it good fun. So, uh, this is really a bit of a training event for you, obviously your, your main season is coming up, duathlons and triathlons. Uh, you, you won your, your big break for last year, European duathlon champs in Holland and uh, is that going to be your first race, uh, first major race of, of uh, 2013? Yeah, yeah, that's the um, so that's the end of April I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be weird going back to a race as the champion. I don't, yeah, I haven't really done that and I'm, I'm not, not sure I'm looking forward to that side of it but um, yeah, keen to start racing. Does, does that feel different now that uh, people have before knowing that or thinking oh you could do quite well now you've done really well now the expectation is maybe a, a bit higher is that a, a different feeling for the you had for this time last year? I if I'm honest I absolutely hate it I <laughs> yeah I don't um I, I put a lot of pressure on myself on myself but um I don't like other people expecting stuff um and uh, yeah I, I've got to learn to cope with it um but I, it's not something that I'm comfortable with if I'm honest I don't think <laughs> And, and what about the rest of the season uh, after that? Because obviously you did a lot of races last year. Uh, what's the plan for the season? Um, I'm going to do halves to start with. So I think I'm going to do Mallorca and Austria. Um, and then probably UK. And then I, it's all a bit vague. But I know that, um, the long-term goal is to try and get Kona points for next year. So I'll end with a couple of Ironman branded WTC events in probably September and November. Hopefully get a few points and um, get me on the way to Kona next year. <laughs> and uh, any chance of a return to Zoffingen where you got second last year? Um, I, I've, not this year because of Kona qualification, but if I did qualify then it seemed to work quite well as a warm-up to Barcelona, so potentially 2015 might be a warm-up to Kona, who knows, but <laughs> I, I would like to go back once because it is an iconic race and um, yeah, I was really pleased with my race last year. I think it's a bit like Kona, you never have your best race the first time. Um, and knowing what to expect on those runs would probably make it a bit easier. <laughs> yeah, and, and you had lots of highlights last year, um, but would uh, Barcelona at the end of the year, would that be your biggest highlight or maybe it was another race? What, what was your oh. sort of standout moment for, for 2012? Um, I'm, yeah, I. I uh, yeah, I, honestly, I don't know where anything. Where, where, where is it? Oh, how did I? <laughs> I, I it, yeah, where did I get to doing that? And um, Barcelona was truly, yeah, unbelievable. I saw, I watched that video that they made of me finishing whenever I can't be bothered to go training, and it still always makes you cry. Like, how did little Lucy do that? And um, yeah, it's a big bit of me that's scared that I won't do it again, but you're definitely not going to do it again if you don't try, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. And uh, any, any changes to training or approach this season, or is it a case of, you know, we know what worked last year, let's just build on that and see, if, see how far you can get again uh, another year on? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much sticking with what I did last year because it seemed to work. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't changed that much. I mean, to be honest, I'm doing the same old, same old races to get me started in the season. Same training friends, same training partners, same coach. Um, yeah, nothing that different. Got um, a slightly nicer bike, slightly faster bike. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but more of the same really. Yeah, and still busy outside of triathlon as well. Still uh, working on uh, PhD and, and work and various other bits and bobs. Yeah, hopefully finishing the PhD. Well, we'll be finishing PhD this year. That's a, <laughs> that's a definite. Definite, one definite in my life, it has to be done this time next year. Um, so yeah, that's actually quite exciting, so we're getting to the results stage, so it's it's kind of a, a yeah, more interesting at this stage. Um, slightly worried about writing it up, <laughs> it's, hard, it's easy doing the practical stuff when you're tired, but actually sitting down and concentrating when, you, when you're really tired is, um, is hard, but yeah, other than that, not much has changed really. Yeah, well, uh, congratulations today. It was a PB. Uh, <laughs> just. Well, just. Just, but just is, is just enough. It was a PB, so well done today, and we'll uh, be watching you uh, through the rest of 2013. So, um, thanks, a lot, Lucy. thanks very much, Sean. <laughs> Come on, Lucy.
Well done, Lucy. Yeah.